Okay, so we've looked at group one, the alkali metals, and our very common question is to compare the reactivity of group one with group seven. So if we look at group seven, okay, and I've just drawn out here the electron structure of fluorine and chlorine. Now, as we go down the group, you can see the atoms are getting bigger. Now, they're in group seven, so they have seven electrons in the outer shell. As the atoms get bigger, the distance again between this positive nucleus and the outer electrons increases. Okay, same as we mentioned with the group 1 alkali metals, this means that there is more shielding. Now, the key difference is that with the group 7 halogens, instead of wanting to lose an electron, they want to gain an extra one. They want to get that full outer shell again, so they want to get to 288 or 28. So, if there is more shielding, remember that's the distance between the outer electron and the positive nucleus, more shielding means it's more difficult to attract that extra electron. If it's more difficult to attract it, it means that reactivity will decrease. So as you go down the group, as the atoms get bigger, they get less reactive.